When you create a lead magnet with Beacon, you'll have the option to publish it either as a smart PDF or a traditional PDF. So what's the difference? When viewed on a laptop or desktop computer, both versions will look identical. However, they do behave in slightly different ways. Firstly, videos can be played directly inside the smart PDF. But in the traditional PDF, your readers will be shown a thumbnail of the video instead. When they click that, their web browser will open in another window and they can watch the video there. You'll also notice that animated GIFs play inside the smart PDF, while in the traditional PDF, a still image is shown instead. One of the main differences between the two versions is how they're displayed on mobile devices. When the smart PDF is loaded on a mobile device, the design is responsive. This means that your content will automatically adjust to fit the size of the screen. This provides a nice comfortable reading experience for your audience. On the other hand, with the traditional PDF, the design is just shrunk down to fit the screen. This means that people will probably have to pinch and zoom just to read your content, which can be uncomfortable. The biggest difference between the two versions is how you share them. The smart PDF is shared with a link, just like you'd share a regular web page. This means that it's not possible to download a copy of the smart PDF, so your readers will always need an internet connection to view it. On the other hand, the traditional PDF is shared as a file. This means that you have the option of attaching it to emails or offering it to people as a download that they can keep and read offline. Because the smart PDF behaves more like a web page, we can give you access to some document analytics. That means you can see exactly how many people have read your lead magnet and how long they read it for. When it comes down to it, you should really share the version which you think is most suitable for your audience. So if your lead magnet includes a lot of videos, then the smart PDF might be the best bet. But if your audience likes to download and keep your content so they can refer back to it later, then the traditional PDF would probably be more suitable. 